he was arrested in London for preaching the gospel. But one thing that kept me thinking is that no one was able to comprehend his crime. He did not steal, he did not kill anyone, neither did he attack anyone. His crime was that he was telling people to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. That led to his arrest by the same white folks who made us to believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins and convinced us to dump our traditional way of living to embrace their own belief. So what are you doing here? I am preaching. You are preaching. Okay, then I will arrest you for a breach of peace. Plain and simple. What? A breach of peace is what you are doing at the moment. You are causing problems. You are disturbing. They condemned all our traditions, calling them fetish, ripping our traditional beliefs and inflicting theirs to us. They took away the gods worshipped by our forefathers, telling us that they are all man-made. Yet, they collected the man-made gods they condemned, using them to grow their technology. I'm not trying to be a racist here. I'm just trying to digest the fact that the people who introduced Christianity in Africa are the ones arresting us for practicing what they introduced to us. Don't take my Bible. Gave you the sinful option. Don't take my Bible away. In as much as I'm not condemning or disbelieving the existence of God, I still believe that Africans should take it easy when it comes to religion. Believe what you think is right for you and don't force anyone to believe what you believe. Don't allow anyone to brainwash you a word is enough for the wise.